What's going on, YouTube? It's Tevin coming at you here on a Monday afternoon. Uh, like I told you in my last video, I went to a card show yesterday. Figured I'd show off the stuff I got in from that. Uh, first couple items uh, to finish off a trade I made last month uh, at the show. Um, made a big deal. Uh, the guy had a few items that I was interested in, but he didn't have them with. Uh, so he brought them with this month. Uh, first... From, well, I don't know what this is from, it's a, but it's a 8x10 uh, MLB Players Association photo file uh, autograph of Kirby Puckett. See the autograph down on his legs there. You got the JSA sticker on there. And then the certificate on the back. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Out of 8x10 of Kirby there. And then the other item I got from him was the second type of item like this uh, that I've got in the collection. Uh, it's a 125 Louisville Slugger Powerized uh, Genuine C271 uh, Game Used Bat. Obviously it says Minnesota Twins up there. Uh, got a nice big crack right, right here. So, it's been used. And then, on the bottom, obviously, you didn't, you didn't see a name on there. It says, uh, done with a cross, and just do it with a bunch of exclamation points at the bottom there. So, that would be Steve Dunn. Um, one of the many failed attempts at a replacement for Kent Herbeck when Herbeck retired in 94. Uh, I guess you could say before... You know, one of the many failed attempts before Doug Minkiewicz. Um, Minkiewicz, I don't think, really did anything for the team. So I'd say before Justin Morneau came along as a decent replacement for Herbeck. I, I think Dunn was like supposed to be in the Herbeck mold. That he was supposed to be a power hitter. Uh, that also hit for average. Obviously, never worked out that way. I think he's been part of a few seasons with the team before uh, disappearing into the abyss. Uh, so, yeah, very cool item. Uh, I guess this will probably go on uh, my man desk as I'm working on. Since uh, I share an apartment with a roommate and my bedroom is way too small for you know something like that. Eventually, one of these days, I know it's long too late, but I'm going to make a video response for uh, Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards uh, contest about showing off your um, man cave. I'll, once I get everything completely organized again, I will uh, make a video for that. Put that down. Set it down so it doesn't break completely. Uh, but then the cards I picked up from the show yesterday, like um, everything that I showed in the last video is gone. Uh, except for the Winfield, like I said, I was going to hold on to. Uh, as a personal collection item, as a non-Twins uniform uh, card that I've got a small collection of stuff with that. Um, got some nice uh, non-hit cards uh, I figured I'd show off. You know, I did, you know, do my usual commons box searching. I got a few nice cards of that. Um, some vintage. Uh, got these out of dollar boxes. Uh, and with the price tags he's got on him, I'm not too disappointed in him. Uh, 96 Bowman's Best uh, Refractor, Chuck Knobloch. Got a 96, I believe, as well. Yeah, 96 Finest. Uh, sticker says gold. Doesn't really say gold anywhere on the card, but it does say rare on the back. Marty Cordova. I think that's Phenoms that his head's in front of that it says on the back there it says rare at the top if you can read that next from 98 Flair, or Flair Showcase uh, Legacy Collection Brad Radke that is serial numbered 57 out of 100 next from 97 Donruss Power Alley uh, what exactly it's called blue parallel maybe Paul Molitor 
That's 1778 out of 2000. Uh, 97, no, 98 preferred, Downers preferred die cut. Really cool looking card here. Uh, pictured in Twins uniform. Um, but it's Tidal Waves 1993 World Series champ, which of course would not be a year the Twins won the World Series. Paul Molitor. That's numbered to the year. 767 out of 1993. Uh, 98 Leaf Fractal Foundations. Also, Paul Molitor. It's 485 out of 39.99. Uh, then this one is pretty cool. 2007 Finest, Joe Nathan. Um, I will, haven't picked up a ton of Joe Nathan uh, since he left the team. That's the Gold Refractor, number 38 out of 50. And then actually my only Kirby card pickup card pickup of the day, uh, 1991 uh, Leaf Elite Series or Donruss Elite Series Kirby card. The guy's got a fifty dollar price tag on it. I actually I think I made a trade for this one. Uh, numbered eleven fourteen out of ten thousand. Did not have that card. That was a nice pickup for the collection. Uh, first couple cards here. Uh, first couple of hits, I should say. Um, as much stuff as I don't have of his uh, rare James Lauren, I just pick up. I haven't picked up much of his stuff in a long time. Uh, 09 Upper Deck Draft Edition Autograph, James Lauren Ice. And then I've looked at some of these in the past on eBay. Uh, just never pulled the trigger on one. And uh, one, of the, one of the sellers... Had one yesterday and uh, made a trade for it. Number 13 out of 18 from 13 Tops Triple Thread. Uh, jersey patch, jersey, autograph, Ram Tough. James Laurinaitis. Nice three color patch in the middle there. And of course the rest are twins. Uh, some nice cards in here. Uh, first from 14 Elite Extra Edition. Numbered 40 out of 75. Purple status die cut. Max Murphy. Outfield prospect. Uh, 16 tops. Uh, scouting report. Autograph. Kurt Suzuki. Did not have an autograph of his. So nice to have that to the PC. Um, I was so desperate for uh, Summer to be here. Actually DVR'd uh, the MLB Network's airing of the Twins-Red Sox game on Saturday. Uh, their spring training game. Where the Twins blew a 7-2 lead and lost 8-7. to Yeah. Hopefully you can just blame that on the minor league guys, but hopefully it's not a sign of things to come for this year. 2009 tops, career best. Uh, did not have an autograph of this guy. He doesn't have a ton of autographs out there. Of course, he wasn't with the team very long. Carlos Gomez. Go, go, Gomez. 16 national treasures. Uh, rookie three-color patch, or two-color patch, uh, Two-color jersey, I guess. Autograph numbered 43 out of 99. Tyler Duffy. Uh, also 16 National Treasures. Mem Memorial Day jerseys. Uh, jersey autographs. Numbered 88 out of 99. Young Ho Park. Ooh, in the first couple of spring training games, is trying his hardest to get back on the 40-man roster. Uh, he's hit a couple of home runs. So maybe he'll pan out. Who knows? Uh, favorite card of the day. I ended up trading that Corey, Corey Seager autograph for this one. Uh, 14 Prism Draft. Uh, honored Selections autograph. Byron Buxton. That's numbered 2 out of 10. Uh, 16 Topps Chrome. Printing plate, 101, Byron Buxton. That's the Cayenne printing plate. There's the back of the card there. Uh, this one uh, was from the seller that I got the, uh, that I finished the trade with for the Steve Dunbatton Kirby Puckett uh, picture. Uh, he handed this to me and said, it's too faded. 
so I can't do anything with it, and I'll just give it to you. So truly appreciate that. From 07 Sweet Spot Classic, uh, number 38 out of 50. Uh, like he said, uh, it's gotten the way of way too many autographs from that set. Uh, dual signatures, legendary autographs, uh, Tony Oliva and Kent Herbeck. See Tony on top there and Herbeck on there. It's still, you know, visible. If you can't really see it on camera, it's still visible in person. But it's, they're barely there. And then last but not least, uh, try to show off here. Uh, 2001 Greats of the Game. Autograph. Harmon Killebrew. So that, that was a nice uh, little day at the card show. Um, that's the most hits I've picked up at a show in a while. Um, of course, I had, a, like Tom said when I told him, that I, I had a, a lot of big trade bait uh, to make those deals with. Um, so yeah, great time as always last, uh, yesterday. And... Uh, that's what I've got for now, guys. I've got a couple of small eBay pickups coming in. Uh, just a couple of odd, oddball uh, uh, PC cards and um, cards from Michael's custom case break uh, from Saturday, which uh, got a, well, he put it together, and I had a couple nice hits. I had the Redskins, but it, you know. Michael won't disappoint, and uh, he definitely did not uh, on Saturday night. I like those cards. I'll show those off when I when they get there, along with those eBay pickups. And uh, that's it for now, guys. We'll talk to you another time. Later.